Welcome back, guys. This is episode 11 of the Alton Podcast. My name is Asa. I don't say that too often when I begin these podcasts. Oh. Oh. And just want to again remind you guys that all streaming platforms you can hear us on. So that is, I'm just naming the top four here, yeah. Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. Oh, yeah. And if We're you guys on, go get ahead. that list, you guys can head over to altonpodcast.com and we got you guys covered. And I keep thinking about our website. Please hit that website up. Go to our YouTube. Like, subscribe. Yes. Give us some comments. We really want those comments. Yeah, join the conversation. Be a part of the innovative innovative hub, like we like to call it. <laughs> on Discord. On Discord. Which is also on our Instagram, I believe. Am I correct? We don't have an Instagram. We need an Instagram. Didn't we talk about this once before? You know, we did. <laughs> and then I thought about it, and I'm like, you know, we still don't need an Instagram. <laughs> we need an Instagram, guys. Okay, guys, somebody comment saying we need an Instagram. <sighs> if gonna we make see that comment, it. we're going to make it. Okay, we'll do it if we get one comment saying do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and our first topic, well, our only topic for today, actually, yes. is minimum wage. Minimum wage, specifically federal minimum wage and the loopholes of minimum wage by state. And it's, it's very interesting. We each have at least three states we're going to talk about today, kind of depending on time sensitivity here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I didn't realize how much I didn't know about the minimum wage rules. Right. Even within my own state. Exactly. A lot uh, of things came to a complete shock to us. We didn't know there were certain age thresholds with minimum wage. We didn't know there were certain work types, uh, thresholds with minimum wage. There's just a lot here. And... Um, we just had no idea. It's crazy. Why yeah. don't you start us off, Colton? Give us one of your one of your states here. Okay. So my first state here is Indiana, simply because I live in Indiana. Uh, we have seven twenty five an hour, which comes out to just over fifteen thousand annually. And uh, what's interesting is that they have an age threshold and a student threshold on their minimum wages. Uh, they call them minimum wage exemptions. So, for example, if you're under the age of 20, you get paid 425 federal minimum wage. Which is crazy. And you, isn't it weird that's 20 and not 18? Right. Yeah, it's like, what's 20 years like, old? What even is that? Yeah, 18 was the big, uh, like, you're an adult, you can do things, you can sign your life away, you can go to the military, you can do whatever. You can buy a car, sign a contract, buy a gun. Yeah. Um, but it's 20. Right. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> so, it's so weird. And yeah. I'm noticing that that is a common trend among all the states I'm reading, is that they can give you as little as 425 federally. Mm-hmm. And to clarify, this is for the first 90 days of employment. So usually a company will kind of like have you in like a limbo period or like a training period on payroll. Usually Mm -hmm. that's for three months at most companies. So I'm sure that's the reason why the uh, federal government allows you to pay them so low is because they're in testing stages. Absolutely. And, you know, they've also kind of changed or they're starting to change the tip minimum wage in a lot of these states we're looking at here. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know if Indiana's one of them, because I don't have that article in front of me. Mm-hmm. However, I know for my state that I picked, New Jersey, the minimum wage is $10 an hour. So it's about 20000 annually. And they have the same exact exemptions as what Colton was saying. Um, student minimum is 85% of the minimum wage. Yeah, which same with Indiana. About eight fifty. Per mm-hmm. hour here in New Jersey, mm. and then four twenty five is the lowest they can pay you for only ninety day increments. Right. Uh, it looks like the tip minimum wage here is two sixty three. Wow. And small businesses fewer than six, and agriculture workers is eight eighty five. Mm-hmm. So there's like special categories that you can fit into. Right. That they can make you not get the minimum wage. It's not right. crazy. Yeah. 
And it's it's the main reason why we called this podcast the loopholes of minimum wage because there is so much here and things can get so technical even by a calendar basis and age basis and if you're a student and if you get tips like there's so many factors that go into these exemptions it's just so strange um it's just one of those things where you you don't really realize what the rules are Mm mm-hmm until you read about them. Right. <laughs> which was something I should have done when I was like 18, because I'm lucky I never got paid for 25. Right. Um, though I probably would have walked away if somebody gave me that. True. The, the other interesting thing, looking at Wyoming, uh, their state minimum wage is 725 and that's, again, the federal minimum wage. Mm-hmm. Apparently, states can have their own minimum wage, which in Wyoming is 515. Mm. So, to my understanding, if your company is not a federal company, mm-hmm. then they can pay you five fifteen. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's just really um, unknown as to what you would expect from your employer, simply because there's just so many exemptions. Um, granted the website we're using makes those exemptions very clear, but before this website, we had no idea these exemptions even existed. So let's just say we were to get hired somewhere and they would have told us, yeah, 425 an hour will be your rate of pay. We would have been like, what? <laughs> yeah. And I would have walked away hundred percent. And right. you know, um, let's see here. Tip minimum wage by cash. I'm just looking at a quick list here. Mm-hmm is as low as 213 according to this website and as high as 808 823 sorry yeah that's the minimum cash wage now the minimum maximum tip credit is looks like nine i see a nine (laughs) a singular Uh, nine huh a singular nine (laughs) and the lowest is 442 425 Nope, 239. There we go. North Dakota. Don't work there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, like, looking at this, I've never worked a position where I get tips. Right. I've never been a server or a hostess. Same. So, I don't know what a maximum tip credit is compared to a minimum cash wage. Right. I have no clue. Somebody tell us. Please teach us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think that is the only exception that people probably know about is servers getting tips that they they get paid a lower wage um mm-hmm. but other than that if you would have told me below 725 i would have been like well don't you have to pay me the federal minimum wage so yeah. there is a lot of things that people just don't know and it, this is one of those major things that people should know a lot more of because Like I said, I knew about the tipped minimum wage stuff, um, but I didn't know there was a student minimum wage. I didn't know there was an age threshold. And even if I knew there was an age threshold, I would have thought it was 15 or 18. Mm -hmm. Not 20. That's such a random number. I would have totally thought 18. Right. But 20. And it's every state that we've looked at is 20. Right. It's definitely very weird. Um, I will... Uh, say though these exemptions uh exemption yeah these exemptions are i guess very um consistent by state Mm -hmm. uh it seems like the age threshold is always 20 seems like the student minimum wage is always 85 percent of that state's minimum wage and uh the tipped one is kind of random um that one is kind of by a, a company basis it seems um yeah but just in general, um, if you don't know about this, there's a lot of inconsistencies you might come across, even though the exemptions are actually fairly consistent. And, you know, I'm noticing a lot of exemptions based on agricultural workers, farm employees, stuff like that. Oh, really? Uh, Nebraska has an interesting list, though. They say government employees mm-hmm. are exempt from a federal minimum wage. Mm. So by exempt... They- they mean they can be paid anywhere between zero and like eight dollars yeah so in nebraska minimum wage is nine dollars per hour mm-hmm. 
and government employees can be paid less than nine. So can apprentices and learners, volunteer nonprofit workers, immediate family employees, and certain physically or mentally disabled workers, all these people can be paid less than nine thousand an hour. Interesting. That's crazy to me. <laughs> wouldn't you think that a government worker is federal? Of course. So why are they getting paid less than nine? I I don't know. It's very interesting because, I mean, I guess government workers could be state government workers. Like, for example, people that work at, like, um, BMVs, DMVs, stuff like that. People do who do, like, the, the car registration and, you know, the licenses and stuff like that. Um, so I guess that would be considered a state position, not a federal position. Even oh, though that's a good point. technically the state position falls under federal, but directly your employer is the state. It's so strange. I, you know, we highly recommend, if you have a chance, mm-hmm. go to minimumwage.org. There's a dash in between minimum wage. Mm-hmm. And look at your state. Check out the rules you may not know about. Yeah. Uh, if you're a student still in high school looking for a job, definitely check out your state first. Yeah. And I want to go even a step further here. One of my other states here on this website is California. And mm. California's statewide minimum wage is $12 an hour but it gets even more specific in saying Mm. town minimum wage really yes los angeles (laughs) has a minimum wage of uh really anywhere between it looks like 12 and 15 dollars but then it has a list here berkeley 1253 um El Corito, sorry if I'm murdering that name, $15 an hour. <laughs> Richmond, without benefits, notice this exemption, $15 an hour, but with benefits, you're getting $13.50. Uh, San Jose, currently $15 an hour with annual cost of living increases. Um, San Mateo, $13.50. Um, that's very interesting. I've never heard of a town by town basis when it comes to minimum wage. That's actually crazy. And to think those states, those towns that are getting the annual increase based on cost of living, mm-hmm. are companies saying you don't get a raise because you get one annually? Uh, I believe so. That'd be really awful. <laughs> but I can see that happening. <laughs> right, right. Especially because the one I mentioned is $15 an hour. So you're already getting paid so much more money um, compared to the whole state's federal minimum wage. It's weird. Right? And, again, we wouldn't have known this unless we looked more into it. Like, I'm blown away right now that there is a (laughs) town-by-town basis here in California. It makes me wonder how many other states have a town-by-town basis. Yeah, I'm not seeing any with the ones I pulled up. Mm -hmm. Uh, Florida, which their minimum wage once I find it here was 846, which is a strange number, I think. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, about seventeen and a half thousand annually for your income. Mm-hmm. They're currently looking into Miami Beach to have a separate minimum wage. It's not on the website yet. Yeah. Uh, but it hit the Supreme Court in March this year. Mm-hmm. So maybe in the next, I don't know how long these processes take, but you know, six months, eight months, we might see what the minimum wage actually is. Yeah. Compared to the eight forty six, but it's so strange they're going to have separate minimum wages. Mm-hmm. It's just baffling. <laughs> right? Um, and it really makes you wonder um, how these exemptions uh, come about. It's like, uh, who sets this? The state? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess the, the state has a tr- Well, I guess some employers are incorporated federally, and then they have to get the federal minimum wage. Mm-hmm. But I think the state can define their own minimum wage, which they can then hand out to employees that aren't tied by those strings. Right. And then I wonder how the town-by-town basis ones, I wonder if they have to get confirmation from the state. And then maybe I wonder even if the state has to get confirmation from the federal government. That would just be a confusing mess to me, because think about it. What if you work on, like, the outskirts of a town? Uh Uh-huh. And the borders just change? Yeah. And you were making 15, but now your border makes 12. Right. That's huge. Yeah. I wonder, <laughs> yeah, like I said, 
Um, I guess that would be considered one of the inconsistencies uh, with the federal minimum wage. Or sorry, not federal, state minimum wage. Technically, town mm-hmm. by town minimum wage. See, we're getting very specific here now. <laughs> it's getting confusing, to be honest. <laughs> right. And that that's the very interesting part, is we're talking about this with so much more knowledge than probably the average person. And we're getting confused about it, which means <laughs> um, the people that don't know, and then they realize it once they maybe start getting a job, how confused are they going to be? The second their employer says, oh, uh, you make $8 an hour, even though the next town over makes $12 an hour. How how yeah. would that make um, a future employee feel? They'd probably make it feel like they're going to go to the next town to work. Right? Right. <laughs> it's like, why would I work at McDonald's here when there's a McDonald's in every town? I'll just drive an extra two minutes. <laughs> exactly. And- right? It's just crazy because, you know, Indiana has this rule, too, Mm -hmm. with the 425. Yeah. And everybody I know here in the state, no one ever that I know of has been paid 425. Right. Is this even an act? Is it actually happening in places? I have no idea. Right. I mean, I'm sure it is somewhere. Um, But, you know, like you said, if it is, it's not really, um, I don't know if mainstream is the right word. But uh, Mm -hmm. like you said, you've never heard of anyone stating it, which means it's probably not happening nearly as much as um, the uh, articles make it seem. Um, Yeah. Because, you know, four, you said 425? Yeah, 425. Yeah, 425 an hour is literally nothing. Even at 40 hours a week. We're talking pre tax, uh, what? I can't math. A <laughs> hundred and sixty dollars, roughly, a week. That sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's nothing. No, that you you couldn't live off that. There's nothing you couldn't. Hell, you can barely afford Spotify premium off that Ooh, amount of now, money. Now that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Man, um, dude, I remember the days when Spotify Premium was half off when I was in college. It was like the greatest thing ever. And then the second it became full price for me, I was like, wow, ten dollars a month's expensive. <laughs> it is, but you know what, man, if you went back to college. Wow. We're not gonna get into that. <laughs> oh if you just go back, man, you get the a Spotify premium again half off. Perfect. Oh man. It's if a win win. If only <laughs> <laughs> man if we can get some comments go to college oh no just on some videos here just man first instagram Colton. now we're getting me back in college what is this austin the people will be on my side man man people i need, I'm hoping. I need at least 51 percent of you on my side okay we need that slight <laughs> majority rule we're gonna do a vote Ooh. <laughs> a vote straw poll we're not Nope. Straw rule. Yep. Game. Let's do it. <laughs> or um, we can do a poll okay. on our Twitter, twitter.com slash all the podcast. I like that idea, but it's much easier to do. Ooh. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, I think that's all we got for this topic. What do you think, Colton? I believe so. I think I'm at a pretty good stopping point. How about yourself? I, I would say so. So. <laughs> So, yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Wow. Wow. We've been talking for like an hour and a half now, guys. Please forgive us. Um, Again, we thank everyone so much for watching and listening on all the streaming platforms. We see you guys. We see the views. We appreciate every single one of you. Uh, Again, we are on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, every major streaming platform. And if you forgot all those, you can head over to altonpodcast.com. And listen via your favorite streaming platform. And uh, with that, that is the loopholes of minimum wage. And we'll see you guys next time. See you guys.